Do you need furniture? No, is the answer to that question. And yet, most people still have a house full of furniture that they use every single day. So, if we don't need furniture, then why is it still so common? Well, outside of the obvious issue, that being that most people have never even heard of Furniture Free, I think there are a few key misconceptions that are stopping people that would be otherwise ready to take the plunge from, well, taking the plunge. So let's dive right into them. I'll be honest, this first misconception isn't really that important in the grand scheme of things. And yet, it's the one that frustrates me more than any other, because it's just so silly. If you were to search furniture free on YouTube, you would be forgiven for thinking that to be furniture free, you must be a minimalist. Seriously, look at these search results. Minimalist, minimalist, furniture free minimalist. I just want to make it clear that I have absolutely no problem with minimalists or minimalism as a concept. But I do have a problem with these two completely separate things becoming so intertwined. Because, well, I'm not a minimalist. And nor are most people. It's not like I'm a maximalist or anything, but I own stuff. I have a rack full of tools and a bookshelf full of books. I've got artwork and plants and a box full of hand planes that I will definitely restore one day. And I have beans. Lots and lots of beans. Oh bloody hell, why do I have so many beans? But I do understand why these two concepts have become so linked for people. Minimalism is the philosophy of less is more, of taking things away instead of adding them. And as such, I can see why being furniture free would fit in perfectly with living a minimalist lifestyle. Realizing that you can live your life without furniture in a way that is still comfortable and fulfilling is very satisfying. And I'm sure that would be doubly so if one of your goals in life was to own as little as possible. But that isn't why I chose to go furniture free. And it isn't the reason that I promote furniture free as such a great lifestyle choice. I live a furniture free lifestyle because of the health and movement benefits it brings. As I mentioned earlier, this connection between minimalism and furniture free really isn't that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. But I do think that it has some impact on the ability of furniture free to grow as a lifestyle choice. Because with so much of the discourse around furniture free being based on minimalism, we essentially end up with a double niche. I'll show you what I mean with this Venn diagram. You have the already quite niche world of minimalism on one side and the very niche world of furniture free on the other side. And that small intersection in the middle seems to be what 90% of the furniture free advocates are talking about. So if the average person were to look into furniture free for the first time, they might just see this and think, wow, those guys seem to be a little bit extreme. I'm not sure I want to be a part of this. And this is a bit of a problem because I don't want furniture free to be some kind of cool kids club. I don't want it to be some kind of underground movement where only the most extreme people do it. I want it to be normal, a normal choice that you can make for the benefit of your own health, as normal as going to the gym or eating your vegetables. Because this is a way of life that would be so beneficial to so many people if it was more normalized. Again, to be very clear, I don't want these lovely people to stop making furniture free minimalist videos. I just hope that over time, more people talk about furniture free from a non minimalist perspective. So yeah, for some reason, this really gets my goat, even though in the grand scheme of things, it's not really a big deal. But that is far from the only misconception floating around in the world of furniture free. This next one is probably the most common one I hear from people learning about furniture free for the first time. And usually it goes something along the lines of, oh no, I couldn't do that. I'm too old. I have a bad back. Oh, my knees couldn't take that. And I completely understand where this belief comes from because as a society, we have been lied to. And this lie is incredibly pervasive, weaseling its way into every nook and cranny of the media, advertising, and even the way that people talk to each other on a daily basis. And that lie is that comfortable equals 
healthy. Just look at the way that things like mattresses are advertised. They are constantly telling you that you need their special, super patented comfort spring capsule technology and their extreme shape forming memory foam padding mechanisms. But you don't need any of this stuff. In fact, this drive towards comfort at all costs has led to us living through the most sedentary time period in all of history. But luckily for us, furniture free can be for everybody. There is one simple trick to transitioning to furniture free that works for anyone of any age and of any level of health. Take it slowly. You have the rest of your life to get rid of all of your furniture. You don't need to do it right now. In fact, rushing is probably the worst thing you could possibly do in your transition because it could lead to you getting injured, massively slowing down your progress or making you quit entirely. Remember, it doesn't matter how far away you are from being completely furniture free. There is always a step you can take to move in the right direction, whether that's practicing getting up and down off the floor or sitting on something lower, but not quite floor height. And one last transitioning tip. When you're ready to start getting rid of furniture, don't do it all at once. You'll have a much higher chance of succeeding if you remove one piece of furniture and then give your body enough time to adjust before you move on to the next one. But on that note, at the start of this video, I said, do you need furniture? No. Now you may have noticed the asterisk I put on that statement. Well, the asterisk is actually there because I lied to you, sort of. Because the real answer to the question do you need furniture is no, but you might want some anyway, because you can be furniture free and still have furniture. Let me explain. As we've already discussed in detail, furniture free does not mean get rid of all your stuff. What it really means is living free of the constraints of conventional furniture, which is why some people call it floor living instead of furniture free. So theoretically, you could live in a house full of furniture and then just not use any of them and sit on the floor instead. That would be a little bit odd, but for people living at their parents' house, living in a shared home or living with a partner that isn't ready or willing to go furniture free, then choosing to not use your furniture is a good option. But even even if everyone in your house is ready to take the furniture free plunge, that still doesn't mean that you need to get rid of all of your furniture. For one, you can choose to tactically get rid of furniture. For instance, if you love hosting dinner parties, but your friends really aren't that into the idea of sitting on the floor, then you can go furniture free everywhere else, but keep your dining room table. That way you get to have 95% of the benefits, but still keep the dinner parties. Or maybe you really love snuggling up on the sofa to watch a movie. So you keep your sofa and get a floor table, desk and bed instead. Another thing to remember is that there are many options for floor furniture. You don't have to just plonk your ass down on the bare wooden floor. There are floor chairs and cushions, tables and desks and even floor sofas. Just don't forget that the benefits of furniture free come from all the extra movement that you'll be doing in your daily life. So maybe a floor height armchair isn't really the best idea. But what is a good idea is checking out my last video about furniture free, where I detail what I learned over the last seven years living without furniture. 